Hi, in this video I'll show you how to animate charts and chart elements. So what I mean by that is, let's say for example, we have a chart like this. You can see the animation of the chart. It's coming in from the bottom. Uh, it, there's a wipe that comes in from the bottom. However, you can animate the individual elements of this chart. For example, in this particular chart, we're having the chart come up, the background come up first, and then the series of data, product one comes up, product two comes up, and then product three comes up. Now, that's one way of doing it. There's another way you can also do it where we have the categories come up one at a time. So in this example here, we're going to have the categories north, south, east, west come up each individually. So these are part of the chart elements that you can actually animate separately uh, outside of just animating the whole chart. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, we're outside of the slideshow view. Let me go into a regular blank slide. And let's say, for example, I want to insert a chart. So if I wanted to insert a chart, I can just go under here, insert, and then chart. And what it's going to do is it's going to insert a chart and base it off of a Excel spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and maybe just insert this column chart here. Click OK. And now it's going to bring up the Excel spreadsheet too. And it's going to bring up some uh, dummy data. So now you've seen that it has actually brought up the Excel spreadsheet and brought up some dummy data. So I'll just go ahead and just rename this data. I'm going to go ahead and type, uh, let's say this north and then south and then east and then west. And I named this product one. And then the, I'm just going to go ahead and just click on the fill handle here and just drag it across. It's going to increment it for me, product one, product two, product three. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and quit Excel. Now I have my chart here, and what I can do is I, I can start the animation. So I can go up, I selected the chart, I go under animations, and let's say, for example, I add animation. I want something to maybe, maybe I have a kind of do a little fancy, I have it float in. So it floats in here, and I would go into slideshow view. You'll see that the animation is on the whole of the chart and not the individual elements, but we can actually change that. Let me press escape. And what we can do, let me go ahead and bring up my animation pane. It makes it a little bit easier to uh, manipulate the animation. So we have an animation pane, and you can start to change things around here. I might not need this, but it's always a good idea to have this animation pane around. So in terms of the animation of this chart, you can actually set, select the chart and go under Effect Options. And maybe instead of having it as one object, you have it as series. And so now we have the series, and we have the individual series come up. Or we can do it by category. And we have north come up, south come up, east, west, and also the element in each series. So we'd have the north come up for each of the categories. And then after that, we're going to have the, or we're going to have product one come up for each of the categories, north, south, east, west, and then the product two and then product three. Now we can also have an element by category where then we'll just have the individual elements, the product one, two, and three for the north category and then one, two, and three for the south category, and etc. So that kind of paints it out uh, for us individually. But what if we wanted to have kind of separate animations for each one? So earlier I showed where the chart came up, it kind of floated in, but then after that, the individual um, series came out differently. So what we can do here, let me go ahead and select this one on, instead of on click, when the slide comes up, it'll just automatically do it. So what I want to do now is maybe I want to add a, an animation. I don't want to click on the animation here because it's just going to override what I currently have. Well, let's say, for example, that we have our full chart. We want to have that fly in or we have it flow in from the bottom, but we want to have the individual ones kind of fly in from the left. So, another kind of a silly animation, but uh, we can have that done separately. So, what I need to do is go ahead and go under effect options and have this done by the series. And so they all seem like they're going to float in from the bottom. But what I can do after that is I can change this one now. So I can select that and I'll go ahead and have that fly in. So it's going to fly in maybe from the left, right? And then I'm going to have this one also fly in from the left. And I can go ahead and change that and do the same here. Have that fly in from the left. So once that's done, uh, they're all going to have a different animation effect. And I want to have this occur after it floats in. So this is going to be after the, after the previous. And that's going to be after the second previous. So it's going to occur right after the first series comes in. And this third series is going to occur after the third series. So you can see from the, the timeline here, the short little timeline here, you can see that the 
chart is going to float in from the bottom, and then the uh, blue column is going to float it, fly in from the left, then you have the red column, and then you have the green column. So let's see how this plays out. I'm going to go ahead and click on the slideshow, and you see that it comes up, it floats from the bottom, we have our bars coming in separately. So there's the way that you can animate uh, different elements of a chart. So instead of just animating the whole chart itself, you can animate separate elements. So if you want to give some emphasis when you're presenting on certain parts of it and kind of uh, slowly introduce parts of the chart in, this is the way that you can do it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.